right on 13 News Today. And welcome back. We are continuing to track a couple of thunderstorms down toward our south. And as we expected, most of these not going to make it into the Rockford Metro. We're expecting a dry evening, but you see here on exact track, uh, we do have the showers, the thunderstorms going on right now, especially off into portions of Whiteside County. You can see some very heavy rain now as that pushes into Carroll County. We'll zoom in and go street level here as these move in toward the Kalita area and also Milledgeville. It's a very heavy rain out there right now as these continue to lift off toward the north and the east. May not even make it to Lanark or Polo. You can see these are just off toward the south and the east of Highway 52. Not going to make it into the Rockford Metro. As we look at hail vision, perhaps a little pea-sized hail falling just to the southwest of Milledgeville. And you can see the hail pretty much winding down. However, there's nothing out there in the hail department that is severe. But have you ever wondered how big chunks of hail can fall on a really hot day? Meteorologist Joe Astolfi explains how it all works. It's something that property owners hate to see. It can damage our homes, our cars, and even ourselves. Hail forms in thunderstorm clouds thousands of feet above the earth, where temperatures are below freezing. Tiny ice particles are suspended within the cloud by what is known as an updraft wind. Upward flowing updraft winds can reach 100 miles per hour. Through a process known as accretion, water droplets and water vapor stick to the ice particles. Water droplets give the hail a glassy look, while water vapor makes the hail white due to the presence of tiny air bubbles. As the tiny water molecules freeze and form layer upon layer of ice, the hailstone will continue to grow. Now, in order to understand the process a little bit better, we're going to use some everyday household items like this hair dryer you see here. It's going to be the strong updraft wind of our thunderstorm, and this ping pong ball, you might have guessed, is going to be our hailstone. So we've got the strong wind shooting up into the sky. The hailstone is going to stay suspended thanks to those strong winds up into the clouds until it either slows down a little bit or the wind changes directions, or maybe the hailstone gets a little too heavy, and that's going to allow the hailstone to fall to the ground. When hail finally falls to the earth, it can range from pea size to softball size. It all depends on the factors happening in the sky miles above our heads. For your news leader, I'm meteorologist Joe Astolfi. And when the hail gets to be one inch in diameter, it is officially considered severe. That's when the weather radios go off. And we want you to have one of these weather radios. You can buy them at Schnooks. We're going to be out there at the Roscoe Rockton Schnooks from 5 to 7 p.m. tomorrow evening. Come say hello, and we'll program these so that they'll go off for your hometown. As we look at live pictures over downtown Rockford, very nice here this evening, even with those thunderstorms down into the Sock Valley, 73 degrees. But you can see here at Dixon, reporting some thunder and 70, 76 right now in Rochelle. There's four reasons why we're going to have such a huge spread in temperatures over the course of the next several days. Number one, we've got low humidity. It's very much going to be similar to a desert around here with low humidity. We've got no mature crops. Think about it. All of the corn is only about that tall, so we're not getting much moisture off of those leaves. Clear nights and strong sunshine mean that we're going to have quite a spread. That means low 50s at nighttime and even mid 80s in the afternoon. Tonight we're going to down to about 55 degrees. Tomorrow 79. Notice the 80s creeping back into our forecast as we look into the weekend. Here's a look at the satellite and the radar. Thunderstorms strong this afternoon down into central Illinois, but for us, we expected these were going to stay to the south, and that's exactly what will take us through the night tonight. Let's go into future track mode. You can see the front moving away from us tonight, so mainly clear skies and sunshine of plenty for everybody for tomorrow. We'll continue straight into the weekend as well. Our forecast here, 55 degrees tonight. Any showers or thunderstorms down southwest of here should be gone in the next hour or two. Tomorrow looking for about 79. Accurate seven-day forecast showing you the 80s coming back for Friday and into Saturday. Notice those overnight low temperatures, very comfortable, even cool Thursday night. But the warm and humid and tropical air mass comes back late into the weekend. Sunday it begins our 40% chance of thunderstorms covering much of the middle part of next week. That's a look at your forecast. Don't forget, weather continues 24-7 at WREX.com.